Hello everyone, welcome to Scholar Hat. In this video, we will discuss about is .NET dead or not. We will try to explore the current state of .NET. And this video is not based upon assumption. In this video, I will share some data and statistics so that you can take the decision. Because many people having a assumption .NET is dead. So that assumption, that myth, we will try to find out it is correct or not. So here I will discuss eight points about the .NET. First, we will try to understand the .NET past and present. So that is coming under the .NET overview, .NET ecosystem, what are the ID and the tools we having to build the .NET based application. Then we will look at the performance, community support. Then we will talk about the industry adoption, career opportunities, and what is the .NET future. So these eight points we will discuss in this video. So let's start with .NET overview the past and present of the .NET. So .NET started in 2002 for building the various type of application. So using the .NET, you can build the desktop application, web application, even mobile application as well. But initially it was limited to Windows based operating system. Then in 2016, the Microsoft launched a cross platform version of .NET that is known as .NET Core. So starting from the .NET core, you having a, a complete new .NET, which we can run everywhere, whether it is a Linux machine, Windows machine or Mac OS. Even using the .NET nowadays, you can build all the type of application, whether it's a web application, mobile application, desktop application, machine learning and AI based application, games you can build in .NET, even IoT based application also we can build using .NET. So .NET is everywhere. Now, second point is here .NET ecosystem. So when it is coming to working with a framework and platform, this ecosystem matters a lot, especially for the enterprise gate application, because enterprise gate application only adopt that framework, that library that is backed by a big companies. So .NET is of course backed by the Microsoft. Microsoft is constantly innovating the .NET product family. In the .NET product family, we having the ASP.NET Core, which help us to build the UI as well as API. We having the Blazor. So Blazor is helping us to build a single page application, which we can run on client side as well as on server side. So Blazor is, is going to consider as an alternative to Angular and the React. The third one, we having the link and entity framework core. So when it is coming to fetching the data from the database, we use the link query syntax and for database connectivity, we use the entity framework code there. The next one we having the WPF. If you're looking for building the desktop application from where you can target the window based machine, so using the .NET MyUI, you can build the cross platform desktop and the cross platform mobile application. The next we having the Unity. If you're looking for building the games using the .NET, so Unity is the most popular gaming engine that is using the C Sharp as a programming language. So Unity you can use for building your games, which you can run in the Xbox, which you can run in the PlayStation. Next one we having the ML.NET. So very few people know about the ML.NET. ML.NET is a .NET framework. Using that you can build all the machine learning and the AI based application. So whatever the the most popular library we having in Python, what other things you can do using the Python. Similar thing we can do using the ML.NET as well. So if you're looking at the .NET family, is a complete solution to build all the type of application. So think from the perspective of an organization, who is going to provide the mobile app, desktop app, who is building the website and who is thinking about analyzing the data using the machine learning and AI and who might be building some games. So .NET is a complete solution, which is helping us to build all the type of application. So such things matters a lot for the enterprise because they are finding a complete solution kit to build everything. The next point we have in the ID and the tools. So when it is coming to building the application, we need the development ID as well so that we can debug the code and our developers can analyze the things. So if you're coming to the Microsoft, Microsoft having a, a powerful ID that is Visual Studio. Even Visual Studio is providing a rich set of features which no ID is providing the market. 
so just to do is a top class id which is helping the dot net developer to build the application with ease because whenever you are stacking whenever you are not able to find out the issues you can easily debug the code and figure out what is happening inside it so these things also matters for the enterprises when they are going to pick up a product if there is a library that does not have a rich id support of course you have to put a lot of time in debugging and writing the code and figure out the things ultimately your team is putting a lot of effort a lot of time for building the application even microsoft having a vs code id which people are using for building the javascript based application whether you are using angular react node js python everywhere people are using the vs code so if you are looking for a cross platform id which can help you to build the dotnet based application even javascript based application so vs code everywhere people are using the next point we having the performance so when it is coming to deciding a framework performance matters a lot so if you are comparing the performance of dotnet 7 that is the latest version of dotnet right now and if you are compare it with node js with java sublet so you will find out dotnet 7 is 11x faster than node js and it is 3x faster than java sublet so this performance is helping the world of companies like samsung stack overflow microsoft itself ibm and many more to serve the millions of requests on the daily basis and because of the reason all the enterprises now focusing on on the latest version of dotnet even what are the application they build with the older version of dotnet they are now migrating to dotnet core so what are the numbers here i'm telling you here i'm not telling from my mind these numbers are officially mentioned on the microsoft website i will share the link in the chat you can verify the numbers whatever i told you here the next we having the community support of course as a developer whenever you are working on your project what the srs is giving to you you have to write the code there and of course you will stack somewhere while implementing the things so whenever you are stacking somewhere do we have help over the internet so dotnet is a great ecosystem so dotnet help you can find out on over the stack overflow on google from where you can get the help even microsoft officially having a very good documentation so dotnet having a great help over the internet so if you are using it you will not feel alone people are there to help you now let's talk about the industry adoption this is the important point us because until the companies didn't use the dotnet how we will make sure how the dotnet is going well in the production so when it is coming to the top website we having in the world like we having the stack overflow that is the top website in in developers we having the second largest search engine that is bing running using the dotnet over there when it is coming the second largest cloud we having the microsoft azure so microsoft azure various services are using the dotnet like we having the active directory we having the cosmos db we having the microsoft graph we having the microsoft team all these product of the microsoft behind the scene are using the dotnet even when it is coming the godaddy sbi bank we having the geo.com we having the the biggest game of the xbox that is forge origin 5 so these biggest application are backed by the dotnet and they are serving the millions of request with the help of dotnet even there is a one case study i want to share with you there is a one company regun so regun was running on node js but later on they moved the workload to the dotnet core so when they moved the workload to the dotnet core so with the node js they were serving the 1000 request per second but after moving the things to the dotnet core they able to serve 20000 request per second so you can think about how the performance benefit the companies are taking after moving the workload from node js or from other framework to dotnet there and what are the case study i'm sharing here i will share the link all these case studies are mentioned on the microsoft official website so that you can verify the fact because here i'm comparing all the things based upon the fact not based upon the assumption so that you having the clear picture you will not assume it 
The next important point is your career opportunities. So now let's look at what are the various open positions we have in the .NET. So .NET is a platform that is used by the all size of companies, whether it's a startup, whether it's a SMEs, whether it's a governments, whether it's a product based company, whether it's a service based company, everywhere the companies are using the .NET for building their product. So if you're looking at the current job openings available on Nokri, we having the 15,000 open jobs for .NET developers. On LinkedIn, we having the 20,000 plus jobs. On Indeed, we having the 10,000 plus jobs. On Glassdoor, we having the 8,000 plus jobs. And what are the numbers I'm telling you here? These numbers might vary whenever you're watching the video. So what are the numbers I just picked up? I picked up at the time of recording the video. But if you will find out, we having a lot of job opportunities, companies are hiring for the .NET developer. So you will not feel we don't have the job in the market. Now let's talk about the salary. So if you're going to hire by a company as a .NET developer, so as a fresher, you will get the salary of around 3 lakhs per annum. If you're having the experience of let's say 5 years, 7 years, 10 years or more than that, you can get the salary up to 25 lakhs per annum. Even I have trained so many students of mine, they are working around 30 lakhs per annum, 35 lakhs per annum, but it depends upon what are the other skill set you have. So salary is also good because many people also having a concern how much salary they will get if they are working as a .NET developer. Now the next things we having the future prospect. Of course, future prospect play an important role for the adoption of a product. So when it is coming to .NET, so .NET is a product from the Microsoft and Microsoft is a big tech companies. If you're coming to the IT, Microsoft is coming in the top 10 companies in the world. And Microsoft having the many product which are based upon the .NET. So the most popular product right now of Microsoft is they having the cloud. So Microsoft Azure various services are running on the top of .NET, even Microsoft is innovating the things with the help of nowadays open ai so open ai is also now backed by the microsoft microsoft and the open source community is committed to provide every year a new version of dotnet so this year you will get dotnet 8 next year you will get dotnet 9 the next year you will get the dotnet 10 so every year in the month of november you will get a new version of dotnet now let's conclude this video I hope now you have having an understanding by referring these 8 pointers. .NET is not dead. .NET is a platform using that you can build every type of application. Even already Microsoft, Stack Overflow, GoDaddy and big companies are using the .NET for building their product. So if you are working on the .NET or willing to work on the .NET, so do share this video with your friends and colleagues on WhatsApp, on social media and do let them know .NET is not dead. .NET having a bright feature and .NET is a platform using that you can build all the type of application. If you're coming to the channel first time, I request you to please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon. So thank you for watching this video.